I'm Dr. Bob Jacobson with the Mayo Clinic. I'm Chair and Professor of Pediatrics, and I work in the Vaccine Research Group. Parents today are still asking about mercury in vaccines, and uh, are we sure that we've gotten the mercury out? Um, I'm glad when parents ask me about that because it brings up a chance to show what I think is both um, a triumph of public health as well as um, what turned out to be uh, um, uh, a non-issue. In the end of the last century, there became concerns that uh, with premature babies born very small, as they started the routine childhood schedule, a preservative called thimerosal that, were in, that was in vaccines at the time might actually amount to a level of mercury in children by the time they reached six months of age that exceeded certain federal limits. Now, actually, no one had ever found a mercury level in a child born premature or small who had been vaccinated that had exceeded limits. It was a theoretical concern that a child might be exposed to it. And because of that theoretical concern, manufacturers work voluntarily with the federal government to rapidly eliminate mercury from the routine childhood schedule so that children in the first six months were no longer being exposed to the mercury. Yes, not being able to use mercury as a preservative did mean that we could no longer have multi-dose vials of vaccine, and that does result in higher costs of vaccination. Uh, it turned out, though, when we removed the mercury, we learned several things. One, there was no reduction whatsoever in adverse events associated with vaccines. Samarosol or mercury does not cause side effects when given as part of a vaccine, and children who for decades were receiving that were not receiving anything harmful. Secondly, some people mistakenly thinking the vaccine still contained mercury stopped giving their children the vaccines, and in fact those children suffered the vaccine-preventable diseases. Third, it made, as I said, uh, vaccines more expensive. It also meant that uh, it's a little bit more difficult for, uh, for physicians and providers of vaccines to keep children on schedule. It did result in some shortages of vaccines. But we've also learned something else. It turned out that the mercury that is used in thimerosal does not accumulate in children the way that some mercuries do from environmental sources. So it turned out it was actually impossible for a child born premature and small for age and weight uh, to actually develop the mercury concentrations that would have exceeded the federal guidelines. And so in fact, it was all for naught and maybe made too many parents too nervous about vaccinations without causing much good.